here with Taylor Turney and uh, Megan Anderson after the Spartans open Mountain West play with a 79-66 victory over Utah State ladies. Uh, it seemed like all mistakes that happened against Southern Oregon disappeared. You guys took good care of the ball and the three ball was the difference tonight. Would you say that was the difference, Taylor? Yeah, um, from preseason to this game, I saw a completely different team out there. I'm, I'm proud of all of them. Um, we just did what coach told us to do. We executed the game plan and we shot a very high percentage. So since break, we've been shooting a lot. We've been practicing hard. Um, I'm very proud of them. Megan, are you starting to feel more comfortable? I don't think I ever saw you uncomfortable out there, but was there something different tonight? Did you feel something different? Um, I just think our team's just, we're gaining chemistry every day in practice, and it just, we have a better feel for each other out there, and that's just what's working for us. I think also, um, on top of hers, that we moved the ball really well, mm -hmm. and that gave a lot of us open shots, um, and easier shots too, so. Career high, Taylor, and career high, Megan. Is there anything in particular that you saw, a way that you wanted to attack them? Um, no, I just took what they gave me, pretty much, and Whatever open chance I had, I took it. Um, I trust my teammates making shots too. I hope they trust me. So I don't really care about the points. I'm just really happy about the win, being 1-0. and Megan, as a two guard, you're out there pretty much on the offensive end shooting. Mm -hmm. But tonight, six rebounds. Uh, was that something that you guys wanted to focus on against this team? Yeah, um, we've been focusing on not giving teams second chances on the offensive end. And not only did we really shoot a high percentage tonight, because that's not going to happen every game, we just worked really hard, and that's what worked. Mm -hmm. Ladies, congratulations on the win. Good luck to Colorado State. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're joined now by San Jose State women's basketball head coach Jamie Craighead after the Spartans opened up Mountain West play with a 79-66 victory over Utah State. Coach, could you start us off with a opening statement? Uh, obviously, the offensive end of the court was clicking tonight. Um, it helps when the ball's moving and our shooters are hitting shots, it allowed Taylor then to penetrate and uh, be more effective off the dribble. Um, from a defensive standpoint, I thought that we stuck to the game plan. Um, they got some points in the paint, but they're gonna get some. Uh, that's where they score from. Um, but for the most part, I really thought that uh, we executed the game plan defensively as, as well as we've executed the game plan in a long time. And we played the hardest we've played in a really long time. And we talked about that before the game. If you don't play hard in this conference, you're gonna get beat every night. Second quarter seemed to be the difference. The game was close. Other than that, what was the difference in the second quarter? You outscored them by 10. Uh, we just got on a run. Um, our, our defensive pressure bothered them in that quarter. I think that's where we got our most turnovers and kind of sped them up, even if we didn't get a turnover. Um, obviously, the fouls in the, set, in the third and fourth quarter kind of helped them, and I thought it allowed us not to really push the lead out to you know maybe 20, 25. Um, but... I think for a young group to know that we went on that 10-0 run really early in the game and we didn't give it up, um, we, we, we could have easily. Uh, so it was good and it was a good learning experience for us how to, how to finish out a game. When you have a double digit lead, like how, how do you gotta play? And I thought we took a shot we shouldn't have. Um, when Maya got that breakaway, I probably would have just wanted her to dribble it out. But at the same time, it is a breakaway. My eyes where she picked it up in the corner, I wanted her to keep just moving the ball. But uh, when you're not, winning a lot of games, you don't get to win in those, or figure that out in those situations. So it was just good, it was a good way to start the conference. Um, this team has some goals and uh, it's the best way to start. And now we get to go to Colorado State. I was gonna say, I mean, just not obviously happy with the win, but how much happier or gratifying is it that your team scores 80 points, my my only has four. She had a four point play in the third quarter. Other than that, it was other players that were, that were really delivering. And they were delivering up and down the, the score sheet, it seemed. Yeah, I mean, anyone who attempted a three shot 50%. Um, so that was big. It's just when we got back from break, we'd just been preaching ball movement. And um, we have to get more people involved. And uh, Megan obviously got the ball in her hands a few more times tonight and was able to get some open looks. Um, Maya got some looks, Hallie, Lise, like all of them. And I think that that just, I mean, my mind's going to score, you know. And so to be able to win on a night where maybe she's struggling to find, you know, an opportunity for herself. Um, she obviously does more than just that for our team, so she still was a major impact tonight, but I thought that it was really good for our team and, and a good sign. And cut down, obviously, the turnovers from Southern Oregon to this 40 to 17. Gotta be happy with that. Yes, um, you know, I thought that we probably should have only had about 12 turnovers tonight, because we were just, 
um, just lazily passing sometimes, you know, and that's youth. It's like they don't r realize that everybody's going to keep playing every possession, and so we can get better at that. But obviously, um, you have to have the ball in order to win, so it was, it was good that we limited our turnovers. Coach, congratulations on the opening win. Good luck at Colorado State. Thank you.